All right, people. Welcome back. More lime and wine. Oh, talked in the wrong place. <laughs> Today is Monday. It means that we are using you about art trains, and this deck is the fun. I I really enjoyed this deck. Yeah, I'm glad that uh, Tiago suggested it. And he's definitely earned that match because ever since this deck has been on here, I've just been having a lot of fun with it. You know, it's not very often you just go ahead and get to sit down and play with art trains and actually, you know, do fairly decently. I must say. Fairly a decent like, derp step. <laughs> Alright people, I'm dealing against our pony here. His name is Derp Step. Hmm. I'm thinking about maybe setting Eris and then maybe setting these. I'm not sure. Yeah, you know, fuck it. We'll go ahead and do that play. I can go ahead and black rose him if I want to. Okay, we'll go ahead and start it off slow. I like the roll in the graveyard. Roll in the graveyard lets me get off double plays, it's just I don't trust them as T like usual. Upstart? Alright. Hopefully we don't go against something too difficult. The deck is fine, but it ain't like, oh my god, here I go, I'm about to beat Necros. Like, hell no. <laughs> hell no, I'm about to fucking whoop some Norden ass. <laughs> so I decided to just go ahead and go normal summon, in fact. Kind of just mirroring me, which is fine, I guess. I guess I'll go ahead and send you Bell. I already got the heiress, and she's pretty chill right now. I mean, I guess I could send my heiress. Could send an emperor and then just revive it if I want to. That wouldn't be a terrible play. But you know what? Yeah, I'll just go ahead and send you Bell. Just in case. Just in case, like usual. Just in case. Go ahead and have Armageddon attack. I'm Armageddon I attack. I cannot speak. I've been just speaking gibberish this entire time. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I mean, like. There's not much I can do about that. It goes off during the damage step, so. Unless I have like a solemn warning, there's not much I could have done about that. It kind of gets Mecha Phantom Beast. Ugh, this deck's gonna be uh, annoying to say the least. It's gonna be a very difficult duel for me. I always have a difficult time against Mecha Phantom Beast, especially with this deck. This deck does a lot of destruction, so. To be able to not even destroy his damn monsters because of the damn tokens, like, this is gonna be a difficult duel. Mm-hmm. Say, you wanna, you know, you wanna pay your cost, tribute a token? This man's already all up in his deck and he didn't even tribute a token. Tribute a token. Okay, you fucking shitting me? You went ahead and got your search, but you didn't tribute a token, thank you. Give me my art chains. Hmm. I don't know who I want. I have Emperor, I have Calvary. I'll go ahead and get Calvary. Like I said, this is going to be a difficult duel. This is going to be a difficult duel to say the least. You going to go into Draco Smack? Oh, wait, they're different levels. Ooh, falling down. Not a bad grab then. Hmm. So it could black rails, but what the fuck would that do? I'll go ahead and summon Mass Chameleon. Mass Chameleon can go ahead and. Nah. I'll take it a little bit slower than that. I said I could go Mass Chameleon, summon back Ares, tackle with the token, then go into black rails, but. I'm kind of meh right now. Especially cause I, since I can't, you know, chain Oasis and summon the bell or anything along those lines. I have Roar, but Roar ain't really gonna do much. Hmm. Thinking. Think about maybe just going activate a waste of summon Armageddon Knight, summon Calvary and XC into Exiton and wiping him. Yeah, he's definitely up on resources. Activate Oasis. Okay. Go 
Prince and Emperor. So Exiton says, during your main phase, your opponent has no cards. So if I summon Cavalry XC, I have one, two, three, four, five, six. Well, he has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And Ali has way more than me. Almost summon. Okay. I'm not sure, I'm not really afraid of the monsters. I more dislike the back row, so. It's done. Okay. Detach for cost. Okay. I said I should have saw that coming, but it's fine. So, I'm thinking about activating Roar, summoning back Emperor, Emperor Effect, pop that, and then trying it again. Because then I'll have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, so there's 1, 2, 3, yeah. Emperor. You can't even play scapegoat, so. And I guess I'll just have Axiton kill you. Or is that I can't. I just don't do any damage this turn. Yeah, my opponent just takes no further damage. I can still attack. I get Axiton and Soul Charge mixed up. I'm like, wait, which one's which? No damage. Like crashing Maxiton into this Mega Raptor. If he wants to go ahead and do that, he can do that. If he wants to go ahead and exceed Mega Raptor with another four, go into something, I don't care either. Mm hmm. Ooh, he might be going to a Draco Smack. This is, this duel is difficult. This duel is difficult. He's still out resourcing me. I exit on this man. He's still out resourcing me. This duel is bad. Like, like oh yeah, I can't be destroyed by battle or by card effect. Like fucking magic that is just as bad. It's all bad. I can black. I can exit on this man. I can black rinse this man. I can just keep on hitting him over and over and over again. And it's still no use. It's no use. <laughs> hmm. Yeah, he might have this. He he is totally out resourcing me right now. I knew this duel was gonna be bad though. I knew this duel was gonna be bad because that's all our trains do is destroy. That is all they do. Yeah, shut your bitch ass up. Damn. Miss Roy. Trying to tell me how to play my deck, nigga. Fuck you. <laughs> Mm-hmm. 
Look at this man. Look at this man. He's completely and utterly just out-resourcing my ass. You know, I'm just going to go ahead and mid-defeat. We're halfway through this video. I can go ahead and get another duel, because there's just no way I can keep up with him. That's all my deck does is destruction. That's all my deck does. You too, I guess. I hate saying that, but I guess I'll say it. I hate saying good luck, have fun, because generally you don't. <laughs> I'll just set Eris, he'll kill Eris, and then if I feel like it, I just go mash Chameleon and summon back and make a Black Rose and wipe his ass, so. So what deck are you using? Toons, I knew it! I fucking knew it! Whenever someone says good luck, have fun, they always use fucking something sacky. I hate Toons. God, I hate Toons. I hate Toons so much. You're not... All right, game loss. Shit, GG. You're not allowed. To, you are not allowed to look at the cards. So bad. Shit. <laughs> Remember that. You banish off the top of your deck and they're face down. You cannot look at them. It's like fucking uh, was it skeleton? Oh my god. Think about just go ahead and summoning Emperor and popping that. Just getting it off the field. Once the turn I can banish one Archfiend card in my hand or in the graveyard. Yep, I'm gonna do that. Normal summon. Effect. Banish. Pop. And are you one of those? It's like if Toon Wall is destroyed. Yep. <clears throat> So, bye-bye, Toon Goblin Attack Force. I knew thee well. Attack for 15. Alright, you got it. You're dead. Pass to you. I said I do not like Toons. They are glorified Watts. You're supposed to interact with your opponent. Destroy your opponent's monster by battle, you know? Stuff like that. Not fucking <laughs> attack over your opponent's shit. Why the fuck is your picture of Bandit Keith while you're using tunes, nigga? What the fuck? Ew, tear. That is not what I need to draw. Not at all. Fuck it. I'll go on the offensive. Hug. Eris is like the le this is like the core of this deck. Without Eris, I don't even think I'd be playing this deck. Like she is just so cool. Like everything is revolves around Eris. She's like the most clutch card in this deck. You control faces you know, target one monster your opponent controls book damage your opponent equal to the advances attack. Wow. So that's all you did. So that is literally all you did. That is, that is sad. <laughs> Where are your two monsters? Get sacky with it. I don't care at this point. Just duel me. Even though you're not dueling me at all. Again with the tomb shadow. Uh, I mean shadow tomb. So sacky. I have their own snatch steal. You control tune while you take control of the ones off your street of the tune. Your opponent's much only control tunes, it can attack directly, so now he has a tune Archfiend Eris. Like how fucking fair is that? What, not fair at all? Yeah, that's what I thought. I think summon commander. Attack over my Eris. You take the nine hundred, but I resolve the effect because it results in my graveyard. Uh, go ahead and get me a roar. I 
I guess I'll insert the roar and then my turn. I said he's just trying to get dirty with him, but he ain't getting dirty with it. Like, come on. His effect, I'm getting this effect. You control two or target one face of a monster your opponent controls. If someone won two monsters from your hand or deck whose level is less than or equal to the level rank, ignoring some end conditions. Okay. But you've been having problems this entire fucking time trying to keep up with fucking presentation of your tune, so that's fine. Even though I could seriously take that fucking monster. Well, you control a certain world and your opponent is not this card. I think correctly. I tags, turn in defense position, blah 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 blah. Okay. Just go ahead and summon Mask and go for Yazi. Why not? <gasps> Excuse me. Yazi. Yazi attack. God, this duel is easy. Usually, the tunes are much more annoying than this. This guy has really not done much. Like, he's using a lot of the tune spells and traps. But, or the tune monsters. Like, besides tune goblin attack force. Is that it? I mean, it really brought down the pain. Is this card target? Is that card target? It looks like it targets. You control it to the world, equip it to the opponent's monster. No, it doesn't target. Alright, alright, never mind. It doesn't target. It doesn't look like it targets. You just equip to my monster. It doesn't target, I don't think. Which monster? Okay, I mean, if you say so. I really don't care. It doesn't look like it targets. But I guess you have to equip to target, or target to equip? I don't know. I don't know. I'll, I'll, I'll look at it after I'm done with this. I don't know what you're going in the battle for. Oh, because you can attack me directly. Okay, but when I attack my Yazi, attacks my fucking cavalry. That's game, so. I'll look it up. Is Snatch still target? Renny, does Snatch still target? Should, shouldn't it? Because you have to pick the monster to attack it. Yes. Yes. Sure. Sure. What card is he using? Comic can. Uh, Ooh, this hand is bad. This is like actually no, it's not terrible. Cause I can go ahead and summon Emperor, and let it die, and then call the Haunted back. So it's not terrible, but it's bad. <laughs> it's bad. <laughs> Armageddon Knight, Eris, one of them. They'll all be good. Cause right now this ain't looking too hot. I just want to see how off you go. If you're going to go ahead and do your Toon Kingdom, set up your tunes and shit, then I will be glad that you go ahead and pop you. But I know he's playing a lot of the tunes, Toon Mass and Toon shit. Just keep on comic canning. Where's my fucking uh, falling down? Banish some phase down. Fuck okay, it, we'll make this video a little bit longer because I want him to put up a better duel. If you're going to use Sakiath's tunes, at least get me better than that. Like, not even a mass chameleon? <laughs> 
Tin cannon soldier. Alright. Wow, and pair. Awesome. I mean, I guess I can go ahead and summon Emperor, banish, pop that, that will die. And then attack you directly at 15 and set the call to haunted. It's not a terrible idea. Let's go ahead and get rid of the Tin Kingdom right now. Always get rid of that Tin Kingdom. Never let him have it. Like this, and they're literally opening up the same exact way that we opened up last duel. And I drew terror last duel too. I draw it again. Like, what the hell? <laughs> that number generator too strong. Keep drawing terror over and over again. What the fuck is terror supposed to do? Calvary. Guess I'll take it a little bit slower. I don't want, I don't see this duel lasting too long. I poke him for 19. Then I, next time I poke him for 19, activate the oasis. I mean, the call of hunting poke for 3,000 games, so he needs to do something right now. I'm gonna game him. He's gonna set a monster. Set a monster! I did not know you could set tunes. Wow, now I draw you bell. Like, fuck it, I'll just end this duel. Regaki? I do run Dark Holes, I just didn't get any. I did not know that you could set that. It doesn't say you can't. Tap. The recall. Send back Emperor. Attack game. That was easy. That was easier than the first duel. I finished the second duel before you even found it. Did you figure did you f find it yet, Rennie? No. <laughs> yeah, find it. Just search up the snatch deal target. Oh, okay. Because they're pretty much essentially the same card. Okay. I'm not entering this video until I know. You guys probably tell me in the comment section, like, no, Daniel, it doesn't target. Oh, yes, Daniel, it does target. Like, I don't know. <laughs> At the top of my head, I don't know. Anything? I guess I'll just sit here. How are y'all doing today? Let's do some small talk. How are you folks? Uh, How's school? Uh, yeah, it does target. Okay, target? Yeah. Okay, okay. Then I guess Comic Can targets as well. Alright, people. There you go. I'm done talking to you guys. Get out of here. This video's over. Leave. <laughs> Alright, people. Thanks for watching.